Hi guys, welcome again on my show. Today I'm going to make something very interesting. As you know, I'm gonna make nectarine cobbler. If you don't have nectarine, you can still just use normal peaches. It will work. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to prepare my nectarine. I'm going to half them, remove the pips, put it in my baking tray, sprinkle a little bit of caster sugar. From there, I'm going to make my scone dough and then I'm going to put it on top. The next step that I'm going to do now, I'm going to make like a scone dough, like scones. Okay, I'm going to put in two cups of soft raisin flour. From there, I'm going to add 100 grams of butter. You need to cut it to blocks and then with your fingertips you just want to wrap it in like until it resolves like a bread crumbs that would be super okay the cold butter guys when i said you need to use cold butter i don't want the butter to melt now when it's cold and then using your fingertips not can you see when you use the fingertips at least you're making the butter to like it's not gonna melt very quick because of your body temperature my mixture is ready, you can see now it's like bread crumbs. What I'm going to do now, I'm gonna add sugar, quarter cup of brown sugar to give it a very nice texture also and the color. You mix in that together, you just make a well at the center, and then what I do, I'm gonna take the milk, it's just only quarter cup of the milk, one egg. Okay. Just give it a whisk. Okay, in my milk mixture, I'm gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla essence. I'm gonna add my mixture in there and then just use my hands mix. Or oh, with a wooden spoon, just mix, do not over mix it, just try folding in. It's too fine. You can see my mixture is ready. What I'm going to do now, I'm gonna take my nectarine. I just sprinkle a little bit of caster sugar on it. That's why you can see the like juicy now. And then with my spoon, I'm just gonna make this mixture like this and then just spoon it over. Okay, just like that until everything is done. Now, as you can see, my mixture is almost ready. I'm gonna put it in preheated oven, 200 degrees Celsius for 15 to 20 minutes. Then I'm gonna have my puddings. My cobbler is ready now. Let's just see how it looks like. Wow. Oh, it reminds me of like when I was still young. Just look into the juices nest there. Oh, it's gonna be very crunchy, hey? Guys, if you really like this recipe, you know what to do, okay? Cooking with Funi, YouTube, thumbs up for more South African delicious recipes. Ta-da!